what's going on, guys? How we doing? So, just so you guys know, before we get started, we are going to we have to mention some disclaimers because again, we are real people and we are real traders, so we like to curse and sometimes we have bad language. So, if it's bothersome to you, please exit the facility and you'll be good to go. Anyhow, um, first of all, just a quick introduction in St. Lucie. Some of you guys may know us, some of you guys may not. Uh, we are an options trading firm. We like to be cowboys in options. You know, we're looking for the big moves and uh, trying to make the most money of generally just by buying calls and by buying puts. Very, very simple. But the methodology is complex. Uh, again, you know, we won't get into the methodology, but overall, guys, we've graduated from being prop traders all the way to hedge fund managers, okay? And uh, we want to give you guys sort of the sauce on how to do it. Um, but again, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to actually talk about um, mobile trading, all right? And a lot of people have questions about mobile trading overall just because they can't trade all the time. So why don't we hop in that discussion? Moose, you got any comments about this? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a couple of friends of mine that are absolutely in love with mobile trading. And, you know, we, I also know a couple of people who are not so infatuated with this new piece of technology in the trading space. And, uh, you know, we, I, I wrote a post a couple days ago on this. It was about Sunday night, Monday morning. Uh, I had a little anecdote for you guys, specifically in the classroom environment. So for those of you that did see that, thank you for reading. For those of you that haven't seen it, shoot over to sanguichi.com, check it out. Um, but for that particular post, again, I wrote more on the, on the classroom environment, but I, I did have a friend of mine, I'll just tell this little anecdote, and then we'll get into the more you know, detail of, of the recent technological advancements of, of mobile trading itself. But I think it's dangerous. You know, I, I find it to be... Uh, useful in some ways, but very, very dangerous in others. And one way that it's been, been dangerous that you know I've heard of from an anecdote is a buddy of mine decided it would be a great idea to trade specifically and only from his mobile phone. And he thought this was just he, it's just, this is the best invention ever. He could do it from anywhere, and he was incredibly happy with the way that he was trading. So he goes on a two and a half hour trip um, from Boston to Hartford about. And as he's driving, uh, it's about 15 minutes into the trip, I don't know, maybe he was hungover, I don't, I don't know what it was, out the night before, forgot to charge his phone, and he was just in a position. And on this trip, he forgot his car charger, and when the phone died, he then had about two hours left on his trip that he was commuting that he was completely blind for. So he took a substantial loss on that position, and it was it was an issue. I mean, and that that ran into a very large problem for him, and that was one thing. That's one anecdote that I guess I can talk about and kind of talk up because I can't tell you how many times I've heard people just say, you know, oh my phone is my phone just died. You know, they have a critical call coming in, my phone died. You know, they have this coming in, my my phone died. All oh, this is text message I need to respond to. You know, maybe it was a girl. I don't know. My phone died. And this was in you know, an even worse case where my phone died, I was in the middle of a trade. And with options, I mean, with the way that you guys trade options, that's not something you want to get yourself caught in. Yeah, guys, I mean, like, honestly, even if you're not trading options and you're just trading stock, if you just got to think about, like, if you want to go short something, I mean, you have unlimited liability to that short if this thing just blows up in your face. And what if you can't cover it? I mean, we have a bunch of, uh, I mean, you do a Google search and everybody's doing this. we got, you know. Fidelity mobile trading apps. I mean, you got this all over the place from your iPad to your phone, and uh, you know, five best trading apps for you know, from Investpedia. Like a lot of a lot of things that you have to be aware of, guys. That like all the stuff they push on you is to slow you down. All right, the more you get slowed down out there, the less likely you're going to make it. You know, honestly, when we trade and we leave things on overnight, or if we leave it on. Uh, during the day we have to walk away, you know, we'll just look at the position from our phones, but we have our direct lines to our brokers if we want to get out of something really fast. Overall, we do not condone, um, you know, mobile trading or execution more per se um, on, um, on mobile devices. But, you know, what an interesting topic is that you got to think about, like, where are things, like, progressing to, you know. Uh, recently, uh, there's a lot of talk about mobile, mobile uh, apps for for programming, Which and, is this is, and this is and this is by like the biggest banks out there. You got Getco doing it. Uh, you got a couple other big houses that are just letting you sign in, create a username, load up some algos, and then uh, and it's in their cloud service. And I mean, this is pretty nuts to think of it, but um, 
you know, we're, we're in a day and age where there might be times where you have to really decide that, you know, maybe I shouldn't be pushing it that much more into the mobile trading space, especially, you know, if you trade options and all that kind of stuff. Watching, you know, your positions is okay, but honestly, like, when we have positions on, we're not gone for more than an hour until uh, we have, like, keyboards at our fingers. We need to be able to get in and out fast. It could be liquidity issues. Who the heck knows? You know, it could be a shit show. And I mean, I guess one thing to just sort of go off of that is, I mean, I, I use I use mobile platforms. And I, I use my, I have a, a brokerage account with Thinkorswim, and I use mobile platforms, but there's, you know, if there's one thing that I can really use it for, it's to look at data. I mean, there's a great app out there, the Bloomberg app, which just shows you prices, volume, charts. Uh, you know, it doesn't allow you to trade, but if you want to look at the data of, of a company, if you want to, you know, look at, Live news. If you want to look at, you know, what Bloomberg is actually going over, the live TV, I believe, is on that now. I mean, they've been making incredible advancements towards that. And I know, you know, Thinkorswim has done the same thing. You can watch CNBC from there. You can trade from there. And again, you know, I use it if I'm in a position. I'm not going to be using that to scalp trade, for example. I'm not going to be using that to, you know, make any type of entry into a trade. I'm, I want to know everything about my trade. I'm going to make it at my computer, and if I want to exit it on the go, I can monitor it 100% from my phone and exit it if I do so please. And honestly, guys, like we try to preach this to everyone, but you have to understand that all these big media houses, all these big brokerage companies, they are aiming to take your money in any way possible. The slower you are in executing a trade, meaning if you press the market button from your phone, it goes to a Wi-Fi tower, and then it gets to the exchanges somehow, it's going to take a while to get there. By the time you press the market button, it could be a three-second lag on the market button. That's going to really suck. Have you guys ever traded from uh, from anything called like Sogo Trade or anything like that? Back in the day, you didn't even have uh, you didn't even have charts or even live charts or live execution um, with a platform with some of these guys, and that really sucked. You know, the fact that you know we have more and more advanced platforms for people to use, you should be using them. You know, a lot of the technology that you guys are using right now is like, you know, five years old in terms of, uh, you know, where market makers stand, but at least you're getting the, you're getting the actual tools. Do you think market makers, do you think these big guys are actually using uh, their phones to trade? I mean, if you say yes, that's, that's, that's cool and everything, you can follow that path of logic. But again, you, uh, you have, to have to ask yourself, you know, are you going to take your trading seriously? Um, is it something you really want to do? If you want to do that, you got to kind of mimic what these big guys are doing. Um, and to just add to that, you know, we, we know that a lot of people have recently checked out the uh, On the Move Trader, uh, the, the new course that we have going on. And a lot of people think that, you know, On the Move Trading means that you get to put positions on, uh, you know, at, uh, you know, random times almost where it doesn't even matter. And that's not true at all. And Zach, I think he has more to say about this. In terms of the opinions here and you know the thought process of, of being on the move yeah. versus being smart about your trading. Yeah, I mean, well, this is something that we go over in the course itself in, in depth. And you know, I, I could talk about this for hours. And I spend a lot of time focusing on in the course. Uh, you know, when I'm teaching this particular lesson, Pete and I kind of Pete and I kind of tag team this particular course and, and have six videos for you guys about 40 minutes long, as well as some supplementary, you know, daily updates and whatnot. Um, everything can be found on the overview page. We'll post that link in the chat for you guys. But I mean, the one thing that I, you know, I, I want to discuss here, right here, right now, with regard to mobile trading and on the move trading, they are not one and the same. It's a very common misconception. And one thing that I do want to point out is that you have mobile platforms that allow you to trade on the move. However, with the things that we discussed in the course and a little bit about what we discussed here today. There are way too many dangers, way too many cons over the pros to actually give you an advantage. I mean, a lot of these platforms, you know, produce the image of this is going to give you an advantage, get another edge, get the new edge. I mean, look at all the marketing that's, that's put into these and look at what they have in common. One of the things they have in common is this will give you a new edge in your trading. That is a fallacy. It's actually quite dangerous. I mean, from the standpoint of, Wi-Fi going out, 3G going out, you're in a subway, subway breaks down. I mean, anything, there are too many variables, guys, to actually look at from the standpoint of trading it safely. 
And when you want to manage your risk appropriately, it's not the way to do it. So this is stuff that we cover in the course, again, more in depth. I'll, uh, I'll post a link for you guys in the chat in order to... Actually, it's already in there, guys. If you want to look into your current chat, yeah, check uh, chat the chat link uh, versus the question box, it's all in there. You guys can check out Beyond the Move Trading. Again, you know, this is a new class we launched. Um, you know, we don't want to like give a lot of crap to you know mobile trading. I know a lot of guys do it out there, and that's not a problem, but again, you know, Try to use your phone or uh, your mobile device, you know, in a, you know, in a smarter manner. I guess. I mean, just think about it. You know, it's actually if you if you have a market by chat room, it works on your phone. Uh, you can type through there. You have Twitter available. You got stock puts available. You have all these other avenues that are available for news and available for you to actually be able to actually check out things that are relevant to you and actually get a maybe stay with a pulse on the market. But if it involves execution. You should be at a desk and actually doing it. So again, guys, if you are on a mobile device, you know, make sure you're using it for the right reason. I mean, all the chat rooms you have in here, we have a ton of guys in our big chat room that uh, they're just talking to us via their mobile phones. And uh, that's, that's awesome. They get to see what we're doing. Uh, if they're missing the entire day, at least they're caught up with the information, you know. Um, but again, execution is a big deal, and we do not condone that you just execute via your phone. It's very, very dangerous. Looking at data is, and you know that was a good, that was a really good point to make with regards to they're staying updated. You know, if you're out of the office for a day, if you're on the beach, if you're on vacation, if you're doing things away from the market, but you still want to stay as in touch and in tune with the market as possible, but you're not executing, and you know you're not going to execute, but you want to watch. You know, let's say you have a watch list very similar to you know Luch and Pete's watch list, sandwich watch list of like you know a certain amount of stocks, eight, ten, whatever stocks. If you want to monitor that while you're away from the desk, if you want to monitor that while you're on vacation, you know, Lucha was in London last week. If you want to monitor those positions or monitor, you know, those, you know, those particular stocks, all well and good to get a platform that allows you to do that with, you know, good data. Um, but again, from the execution standpoint, you want to be smart about it. You want to make sure that you're executing with proper risk management. That's really the name of the game. Keep your losses small. And when you're going for those big wins, and when you're going for even singles, I mean, you want to you want to outsize your wins relative to your losses. And with mobile trading, it could present an issue with regard to that. And just to add to that, you know, the on the move trader, like a lot of people are saying that you know they'd rather they want to be able to stay in tune with the markets. They want to execute through their phones, possibly even you know look at some of the market profiling, or even try to even tape read, which is insane to think about. You know, we've gotten a couple emails about this, and we're like, you know, you guys should really think about this. And honestly, again, guys, back to the on-the-move trading, like, the idea here is that you can make a larger picture assessment uh, with the on-the-move trading type of methodology, you know, with the market profile technology and uh, the way to scan through and uh, Zach's watch list. It's a lot easier for you to be able to make a sort of an at-a-glance look at something with the market profile and say, okay, today's a relatively good low risk reward day, uh, or excuse me, high risk reward day for me to dip by or to even buy some puts or whatever, and then be able to leave it on for a day or two. And that's completely fine because, again, you've given it a look via all your tools and you have all the arguments in your mind. You have a system set up and you're trading it. When you're on a mobile phone, most of the time you're going to be like, oh, man, I'm in the car now. And, oh, there's a big trade here, boom, it's time to go. And, again, it, it affects your psychology, too. Again, if you care about trading, it's, you know, you can get these things down, you know, 100% on the tape reading, 100% on the market profiling. But then if you don't have the psychology for it, you're not going to be able to make it. And how is your psychology going to be when, you know, you're just arguing with your girlfriend on the phone and then you're going to turn on your, your mobile app and be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into a trade. Or you're above the subway for a trade, and then you go under the subway, and you have no signal for 15 minutes. Pop out, and it's like 15 cents against you, 20 cents against you. What are you going to do? So again, guys, make sure you're making the right decisions here. Um, you know, this this webinar we're going to keep it short and sweet, but overall we're here to really help you guys make the right decisions out there. And you know, give us some feedback. Do you guys have any questions on um, you know platforms, brokers, and all that kind of stuff? Like, what are you guys thinking out there? I know a lot of you guys are 9-to-5ers, 
and also only have very limited amount of time, like what's the problem with being a limited amount of time trader? Are you guys afraid of holding positions? Um, do you guys not know how to do the risk? You know, what are the questions you guys have for us? We're going to leave it open for questions in the next five, ten minutes here, guys. And another thing that, you know, kind of look at, if you guys want to ask us questions or even give us stories very similar to the story that I gave you, you know, give us some pros and cons that you have heard or even experienced about mobile trading. Again, we're going to keep this open um, for, for a couple minutes and just sort of wait for some answers to come through. I mean, if, we'll, if we don't get any answers, that's totally fine. But again, I mean, just, just if you're, feel free to ask questions, guys. You know, feel free to ask questions, tell stories, whatever it may be. I mean, I guess the one thing that even that you mentioned with regard to the market profiling, it's a, it's a good example from our last webinar with regard to the Google trade. Yeah. That was, that was a, that's a really good example on having a process. I mean, you couldn't, any, everything that we did, you know, everything that you did and, and I helped you with, with regard to that trade was, I mean, you couldn't have done that from the phone. No, there's no way to make that big trade. Again, you guys want to play, uh, play an earnings uh, event and you want to trade it from your phone. That's going to be literally impossible. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rupp is asking, you know, what's the best broker for mobile phone trading? Um, again, very, very low recommendations on brokers for mobile trading. Zach, what are your thoughts on the best one? Though? I, like I said a little earlier, Rob, I, I use uh, TD Ameritrade as my retail broker. And I, the one thing that I have been able to do with that um, is use their TDA or you know, whatever they call it, iSwim. You know, they use uh, the advanced thinkorswim platform. I love it. It's great for charting. It's great for a variety of different other things, including the market profile indicator that they have up there. Um, but again, I would I would look into using that as a source for data. I mean, you can get everything from options chains to intraday to daily to weekly to monthly charts. You can, you can get a lot of data through the Thinkorswim uh, TD Ameritrade mobile app. Uh, again, from the execution standpoint, they don't suggest it. Um, it's not something that I I would condone either. Um, but I just don't suggest that that method of trading primarily because the, the it, the risks outweigh the rewards in that sense. All right, guys. Well, again, any more questions out there? Leave them up for a couple more minutes here. All right. Sounds good, guys. Well, again, guys, thanks for coming along. Again, we want to make a quick webinar here just on mobile trading. So, again, guys, if you have any other questions, shoot us an email. Zach at St. Lucie, Peter at St. Lucie. We are here for you guys as a resource. Bring on topics, you know, if you guys have any other topics that you have concerns with or that you want to talk about, shoot them over to our emails and let's actually talk about it. Hi Sarah, how you doing? Uh, she asked one quick question just to get it in. Uh, what specifically do you get with the product itself? Um, just to speak a little bit towards the On The Move Options Trading course, uh, if you guys check out the screen that we have showing. Um, we get, uh, we, there's a variety of different things that you get with it. The course is actually six. 40-minute videos um, covers everything from the basics of options market to um, you know the four strategies that we kind of look at, which is broad market internals, um, sector rotation analysis, one specific open interest ceilings and floors, and most importantly, uh, market profiling. We utilize market profiling because it's the visual way of reading the tape. Um, this is one thing that, from the on-the-move standpoint, is very important. You can't sit at your desk all day and read that tape. This is one way to do it. Um, this, this will give you that advantage. And this will also help you to learn. Uh, you know, if you want to dip into that full-time trader, um, you know, that full-time trader mentality or even that you know, full-time trading skill and start to build that tape reading skill, market profiling is definitely one way to really assist you in doing that, which is good. Um, there are quizzes involved, 60-plus you know, page digital guide. We have regular updates, daily emails. Um, and the, the really cool part that allows you to get integrated to the Sangluchi team is the one month free access to Sangluchi chat room. Uh, we also do bi-weekly group Q&A review sessions and that will be kicking up next week. So for those of you that are in it um, already that are in this, hello and congratulations. For those of you that are not, come check it out. Again, it is the new Sangluchi course uh, that we have been working on all summer. So if there aren't any other questions, yeah, make sure to, again, guys, if you have uh, questions on the, uh, on the course, feel free to email us. Kenny's asking the chat room charge. The chat room is a, a dollar for the first 14 days, and then it's, I believe, 50 bucks per month after that.
again, you get that all included with this one-time payment. You get a whole entire month free with this one-time payment with the on-the-move trading course, guys. Uh, any other questions, guys? Again, if you guys, have, there's, a, there's a couple of questions in here about the actual course. Again, feel free to uh, shoot us an email if you guys are ready to sign up. I know there's a couple of you guys already in here. Uh, Zach and I are psyched. Um, feel free, again, to shoot us emails, give us calls. You know, we're here as a resource, all right? Yep. All right, guys. Thank you for coming along. We'll catch you soon. Joey, after